Would you use a bidet if it was hooked up to a Sprite keg? I'd say yeah. If water is good for cleaning your you-know-what, then Sprite must be amazing, right? Because it's like... Water plus like another ingredient. Bleach, maybe? Can I tell you something crazy? Do you know how bent over the corporations have us? We moved, right? When we moved, we inherited the washing machine from the house. We left our washing machine in our old place. We didn't need to get a washing machine because there was already a washing machine in this place, okay? No problem. I've used many different washing machines in my life. Maytag, Whirlpool, Frigidaire, etc., etc. This washing machine must be newer. You know how I know it's newer? Because it has a subscription service. Now, you don't have to pay $9.99 a month to use your washing machine. However, on the washing machine, it has a logo on it that says, make sure to clean your washer with a, a fresh. And I said, what is that? I'm going to ignore it. Well, <laughs> after ignoring it for a month, it plays like an alarm, and every time you try to run a cycle in your washing machine, it's like, just so you know, you should really clean your washer with a fresh. It makes the light like blink at you and tries to like default to that setting. So we said, I don't want to ruin my washing machine. We bought a fresh. A fresh is literally just like these pucks of bleach. They recommend you clean your washing machine with this. A f you run a cycle on washer clean with a fresh in it once a month otherwise the thing will ignore the heck out of you or annoy the heck out of you i should say how much was it i don't the point is not the price it's the principle man why do i have to wash the washing machine the washing machine the only things that go into it are like water and soap literally every time it works it cleans but that soap's not good enough. That, no, you've got to get a soap to wash the residue of the laundry soap off of the washing machine. Doesn't make any damn sense. I just, I, I can't believe we've reached the point in life where I, once a month I have to clean my washing machine with a different kind of soap, okay? Like, where does it end? I guess it ends with the cleaning your washing machine because there's like nowhere else to go. <laughs> but it should have ended before that. We should make washing machines that don't need to be cleaned. You should YouTube dirty washing machine repair to see how dirty they can get. They can get absolutely disgusting. I believe it. I'm just resentful. Because it feels like everything's a subscription service now. We had a washing machine in our old place for five years. We never cleaned it. Our clothes came out smelling a little bit mildewy, but that's the way the world works, man. <laughs> We do clean our dishwasher. We don't have a garbage disposal, which sucks because having a garbage disposal is really nice, but we do clean our dishwasher. But that's because like food gets stuck in there. I don't throw like a plate with, you know, taco beef on it into the washing machine. Now, I, I want you because you're going to be like upset. I also rinse off the taco beef before I put the plate in the dishwasher. But at the same time, I'm telling like, so, there's always some residue, you know, there's more residue on the on the plates than there is on the on the clothes Don't you clean soap scum off of your shower? Here's the thing I do but I wouldn't if um, My wife didn't want me to like I get that you should clean The soap off of your the soap scum off of your shower or wait, maybe I don't even, now that I think about it. Hang on, I gotta think about where we're going here. Maybe like a blue baby? Isaac reference! Isaac reference! Because I feel like, what, what's the problem with soap scum? You may say it's unsightly, and there may be some truth to that. My response to that is I simply choose not to notice it. But soap residue is not dirty, right? Like, it's soap. Isn't it constructed in such a way that, like, dirt can't touch it? It's from your dirt, though? Well, no, because my dirt's getting washed down the drain. Where it's then being stopped briefly in the, in the drain because the hair trap is full of body hair that ambiently fell off my body while I was showering. 
Same logic that the towel you use to dry yourself can't get dirty because you were clean when you dried yourself. No, 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 no. That's the, the, the people who think that are stupid, okay? The reason that people think that are stupid is that there's ambient mold and yeast in the air. So it, when, it, when anything gets damp, there's mold everywhere. Mold congregates into the dampness, and that's why you have to, you have to clean your shower, okay? Or sorry, that's why you have to clean your towel. But the shower doesn't get moldy? Explain that. Mold can't grow on ceramics. It can only grow on softer substrates, such as towels and uh, foods, breads in particular, like soap scum. Why? I'm just saying, I, I'm, I'm not just trying to be absurd. There's a little absurdity here. But I kind of reject the notion that like soap scum is, is dirt. I, I'm still sort of struggling with the idea that soap can be dirty, I suppose. The shower does get moldy, that's why we clean it. Brother, I'm telling you, we clean, so like this is, I'm just telling you I live in a clean house. But even when I lived on my own, my shower was not getting moldy. Are you showering inside of a shower made of, of whole wheat bread? Or hot dog buns or something like that? My shower's moldy right now. My caulk is moldy. That sounds like you need to speak to a urologist, brother. That seems like a real problem. Has Kate been taking care of it? We, we both clean. You heteronormative so-and-so. We do! She cleans more. That's a given. <laughs> but I will say, it's not like the... I'm gonna need some men to back me up here, okay? Why is it a given? Here's why it's a given. She cleans more. It's not because I'm like a slob. It's because genuinely, I swear to God, I notice it less. I know that seems like an excuse, but you watch me play the game we just played, right? I'm not that detail-oriented, okay? Now, when things are untidy, that you, you, this will shock you, perhaps. But here's what happens. Every night, we eat dinner. After dinner's done, I take all the dishes, I take the pots, I take the pans, I put them into the sink. I scrape off any residue that's on the countertops, might even clean the stove, right? Then I do the dishes myself. If, there's, if the dishwasher's full and, and clean, I put them all back in where they're supposed to go. Every night, I, I, I deal with, not as much as my wife, but I deal with untidiness and, and I clean up the house, okay? That being said, other stuff like, hey, the bathroom is dirty. I, I tend not to see that stuff as much, you know? I, I think of it almost the same way I think about when your glasses get dirty. If your glasses went from perfectly clean to dirty, like hideous immediately, you would be like, oh my God, my glasses are dirty. But what happens is they get like 1% dirtier like every six hours. And it's, it's the frog in the pot of boiling water. You know, if something, the kitchen goes from perfectly clean to very untidy in the natural process of dinner being cooked. But when stuff just ambiently, like the sim style, gets 2% dirtier per day or something like that, it's a lot harder to notice. You're like, hey, this is dirty. So I need someone to tell me. And sometimes rather than tell me, my wife would rather be like, I just cleaned it, which is good. I, I, I'm happy for that as well. But that's my defense for why I probably do less cleaning than my wife. That's, I'm, I'm just to my own self, I'm being true. I'm also being very offended, by the way, because people are saying, you seem like a, a maid type person. I'm not a maid type person at all. I'm very, we, we had a housekeeping service come in like once every two weeks or once a week for maybe a year. I was always very embarrassed because you're, you're it's a poison pill, okay? Because either you sit and stream while the housekeepers clean, which makes me feel guilty for having an untidy house. That feels bad. Or I have housekeepers come in and clean and I'm too embarrassed to be there. So like I go out and I miss a whole bunch of work and then also I have to pay them way too much money. So I'm like, I would rather just clean on the weekend, make sure the place looks nice, and then also like work on the week. 
I'm, I'm not anti-housekeeper. <laughs> Hang on, I know what I said, okay? I'm not anti-housekeeper. I'm simply, I, I feel like it doesn't work for me. I understand why, why people do it, for sure. Because like if you, maybe you have a job where you don't have to, maybe you're in the office, for example, and then people can come to your house and clean and you don't like cleaning. There you go. That's a, a good use of your, your financial resources, I would say. For me personally, it's, it's a poison pill. Because either I have to feel bad and pay money or I have to miss work and pay money. Neither of which appeal to me. You ever use the Roomba? Same problem? The, the Roomba... I'm not saying it's hard to be a streamer. Like, not in the slightest. You killed my flycatcher! You don't know what I've gone through to have to get one, man. But Roomba is... Uh, uh, too loud. Thank you for taking the words out of my mouth. It's too loud. Um, if you have a job where you have to be on the microphone. And also, it's an inefficient vacuumer. You probably already knew that because it's a robot, but like when a normal person vacuums, they just vacuum every spot like once and then they're done. The Roomba just kind of bounces around until it, you know, I, I don't even know when the Roomba stops. I guess either when you program it to stop or when you, uh, when it senses no dirt. I run mine at 3 a.m. I mean, I, again, I have to just go back to someone in chat who said, why are you trying to min-max vacuuming? I'm 100% I'm with you. Vacuuming is like, I don't want to call it the easiest chore because it's my wife does it. <laughs> so it, it's just honestly rude for me to say that. Like vacuuming is not the hardest part of, of keeping something tidy, man. I don't know why people want me to have like lived in a... I'm, I'm trying to think of what word you would use like a frat house or something like that i'm i'm not as tidy as mouth but after almost 10 years of being married to a very tidy person i've naturally become much tidier i'm i have a pretty tidy setup especially like i think by streamer standards <laughs> i don't know if it's because you want me to be a slob so you got somebody to relate to or what then i apologize for getting into personal attacks here but you did it first. No, it's the opposite. You seem like a clean person, and it's surprising to find out you're not. What do you mean I'm not? I am a clean person. <laughs> how often do you... <laughs> how often do you clean the soap scum off of your shower? We do it like once a month. If I wasn't married, I would probably do it once every six months. But I'm, I rarely notice my shower getting dirty, man. I say rarely, what I mean is never. Once a month for me? Once a month. It, some people out here are like, oh, I change my sheets once a month, but I clean my shower once a week. Brother, you're not sleeping on the shower wall. So like explain to me how you got your priorities so backwards. You're wearing the same jeans for six months straight. But meanwhile, you have to clean the walls of your shower once a week. Otherwise, you're disgusting. Yeah, sure. Sounds right. You're not supposed to wash denim. You're not supposed to wash denim. Hang on, we're about to get a 10-piece as well. While, while going through this insane dialogue. If you shower at night, is it more acceptable to clean your sheets less? I don't have the patience for this kind of discourse, okay? This is, this is a younger man's way of streaming, and I'm, I'm just... I'm past it. You should just... Do the... You don't have to... Do a spreadsheet in advance and say, I know you're supposed to change your sheets every two weeks, but at the same time, I shower at night, so I'm going to do every three weeks instead. You should just... Has it been a while since I changed the sheets? Let's change the sheets. Who cares? Maybe sometimes that's 13 days. Maybe sometimes it's 27 days. You know. You know when you look at your sheets, you go, these sheets need to be washed. Just like... You don't have to, it, I, I look at it kind of like showering, you know? I normally shower once a day. Sometimes I shower twice a day. What makes, it, what makes me shower once a day versus twice a day? Does my ass stink? If I'm stinking it up, then I'm taking two showers. I'm not gonna step out to like a nice dinner with my wife 
and then she's gonna be like, oh, you kind of smell, can you take a shower first? And I'll be like, sorry, I'm a one shower a day Andy, and I already used my, my, my privileges, you know? You just do it when it needs to be done. And maybe there's some days where you go out there and good for you, you wake up and you say, I still smell like yesterday's deodorant, then maybe you don't need to shower that day. I would still do it just to sort of build up the, the accumulative benefit of it, but maybe that's just me speaking. Okay, now listen here. I'm lucky if I get two showers a week, but I work a desk job and I rarely sweat. Okay, I trust you, okay? I trust you that you don't stink. You may stink, but I'm choosing to trust that you don't, okay? But I do want to take issue with one thing. And the only thing I'm going to take issue with is why did you phrase it like, I'm lucky if I get to take two showers a week? Because you're in my chat. So you got time. <laughs> this is like the, and I love Robert. This is not an anti-Robert bit. It's, it's just funny. But the time that Robert... I mean, the stream, the NLSS started at 5 p.m. Eastern time, and he would show up and be like, I didn't have time to eat before the stream, or like, I didn't have time to go to the bathroom today. And I'm like, what are you talking about? It's 5 p.m. Eastern time right now. You don't, you need to take some time for yourself in that situation. You need to carve out time to take more showers if you, if you love them, which I do, by the way. You ever try a cold shower? I have, um, I am not for them. Got a lot of money here. If you like them, good. But I, I would give them a, a heavy not for me. That's my verdict, not for me. A cool shower maybe on a, on a really hot day, but a cold shower, even, even if it's, I mean, let me put it this way. Even when we were in Orlando, I was showering with hot water. I, this is from Chad. I would think of it this way. I wouldn't wash my dishes in cold water, so why would I wash my body in cold water? It's an interesting way to think about it. Can I tell you something? This story haunts me. There's a, there's a few... I think everybody has these. I'm not making this part of my neuroatypical arc. I think everybody has a couple stories like this. The story pre preceding the story, because it's in the same genre, is one time I had a, an office job and uh, one of the other workers came by. I was just like a, I was a 19 year old kid that they hired for the summer, right? So they didn't really know who I was. And neither did I at that point in my life. But uh, someone, one of the other workers came by my office and dropped something off. And then I, when they dropped it off, I said like, all right. And then they said, um, oh, do I detect an Australian accent, to which I should have said no, but what I said was, uh, I don't think so. And I'll tell you in my own defense, the reason I said I don't think so is because the question was, do I detect an Australian accent? And I don't know, you tell me, lady, what you detected. Um, but I don't have one, but maybe you detected it, okay? That was just, I, I took her question too literally, and I'll own up to that. But then she said, oh, are your parents from Australia? And I said, I was like panicking, and I said, I don't think so, again. And then she just went, oh, okay. And then she walked out. So she definitely thought at, that I was either like, <laughs> not very smart, or that I was like an Australian orphan or something like that. Then another one that got me, was I was in the work kitchen, different coworker by the way, but I was in the work kitchen and I was washing off a plate and this guy came in and said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm doing the dishes. And he said, why are you doing it with cold water? And I was embarrassed because in my head I was like, oh duh, you use hot water to clean the dishes. And I said, oh, you know, climate change and all that. Dude definitely left thinking I was a complete moron. <laughs> Using 10 times as much water to clean the dishes because you don't want to turn on the burner for two seconds to get hot water to clean the dishes so much more efficiently. Oh, man. 
It is funny though. That's funny. Oh man. I think about that one from time to time. You don't soak your dishes first? I'm a big, well, some dishes have to be stoked. Uh, soaked. I'm <laughs> sorry, my brain is collapsing in on itself. Some dishes have to be soaked. If you got caked on egg in a pan or something like that, you got to soak it. But for the most part, and you already know this about me in all likelihood, for the most part, I think that the soak is an act of self-delusion. I think it's basically the pr procrastination of the most insidious kind because it gives you a veneer of thinking that it's productive. Most dishes that people soak could simply be washed at that moment, but they'll be 5% easier to wash if they soak for an hour. So people fill the pan with water and then let it soak for 12 hours instead. I would rather just, most of the time, I would rather just go through the extra effort of washing it at the moment so I don't have like a, a petri dish of disgusting like egg or meat residue which has mixed with still water and been culturing bacteria for like half a day. But there are some times that it needs to be done. I'd rather those petri dishes only exist on the shower wall. Some of you motherfuckers understand even less about biology than I do, which is crazy because I didn't think it was possible. If you ran a test, where does, what gets grosser faster? A pan with food residue that's soaking in water versus a septic ceramic tile that the only bacteria introduced to the ecosystem is literally like a water droplet touches my shoulder ricochets JFK magic bullet style at the perfect angle to land on the on the shower wall it is not a 50 50 let me put it that way okay we owe it to ourselves to be more honest with one another